In this video, we're gonna walk you through the proper technique on obtaining vital signs in an adult. So the vital signs we're gonna review are temperature, pulse, respirations, so to take an oral temperature, you're gonna remove the probe from the thermometer and attach a probe cover. Place the probe in the pocket under the tongue and have the patient close their mouth. Make sure they haven't had anything to eat or drink in the last 15 minutes because that can really mess with your results. Normal temperature for an adult is 97.8 to 99.1 degrees Fahrenheit. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. Now, in some cases, you may need to take an axillary temperature. So place the covered probe under the patient's arm in the axilla and have them place their arm by their side. Make sure you get good contact with the skin. Now, while this isn't the most accurate temperature, usually runs a full degree lower than oral, it's still a good option if the other routes are unavailable. So after you take the temperature, you want to take the pulse, which is the number of times the heart beats in one minute. Normal for an adult, is 60 to 100 beats per minute. Now when checking a pulse, you have a few options. The first is the apical pulse. To get an apical pulse, you're gonna place the diaphragm of your stethoscope over the apex of the heart, which is the fifth intercostal space midclavicular line. And you're gonna listen for a full minute when you listen for an apical pulse. So another option that you have is to obtain a radial pulse. To get that, you're gonna find the groove just below the thumb on the inside of the patient's wrist. You're gonna palpate the pulse and count for 30 seconds and then multiply by two. This is gonna give you beats per minute. The other thing you can do is obtain a carotid pulse. You're gonna place two fingers on the thyroid cartilage in front of the neck and slide them to the side into the groove just below the jawline. Again, palpate for 30 seconds, multiply by two. One important thing to know here is that you should never palpate both carotid arteries at the same time because you can cause a vasovagal response. The next thing we wanna do is obtain a respiratory rate. Now, when you're obtaining a patient's respiratory rate, it's really important that you don't tell them you're counting their breaths, otherwise they're gonna breathe differently. So one trick is to count the radial pulse for 30 seconds, and then while still holding the patient's wrist, count their respirations for the next 30 seconds. And again, multiply by two. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN. Click the link in the description below or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.